From a drunk teenager telling a cop she likes it kinky. You want to taste me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it kinky. To an extremely intoxicated woman wreaking havoc on the streets. 511, yeah. she's refusing to comply. Get it! Here are four DUI arrests caught on camera gone wrong. Disclaimer, all content in this video is for general educational purposes only. On April 25th, 2022, officers responded to a convenience store for an intoxicated female passed out in her vehicle in Weston, Wisconsin, after two customers said they found her there and were concerned for her well-being. Yeah, we're willing to, she was, she was parked, but she was, she was asleep. We are willing to take her to our house. Right off the bat, the girl is slurring her speech. We'll take her to my apartment if we just put her in my car. What? And we'll be there. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. We're just taking her to our apartment. That's okay. What? I, I, can't, we're just under I can't understand her, you. We're just taking her to our apartment. That's okay. Taking who? Her. When the officer starts talking to the witnesses, Anna goes back to the car, exhibiting extremely weird behavior. Well, she's, she's, she's did you, okay, so did you guys find her in the back? Was she yeah, in the she back? Yeah, she was in the back. Was she like laying down? Yes, or? she was in the back. Yeah, okay. she, she then continues to argue with the cop. Oh my ID, just kill. Well, I, I want to... Just give me a second. Okay, no, I want to talk to you. Okay. I know, I will, just give me a second. Well, why do you need the door closed? I get it. I get it, it's cold. Well, your ID, you can get your ID with the door open. Looking at her state, the officer is extremely concerned. What, what did you... Have you been taking anything tonight? Have you been drinking? Alcohol? No. I need my eyes closed. Why do you need your eyes closed? Because I can't hear them anything else. You can't what? Hear them anything else. You can't hear them? Yeah. You can't hear your eyes. I can't hear my ID. You can't hear, you don't need to hear your ID. I don't need to hear my ID, I just need to know that it's there. She still hasn't gotten her ID out at this point, and it's pretty evident that she's not in a fit mind state to do so. Are you diabetic or are I'm you- I'm nothing I'm taking tonight, but I need to be quiet to take my meds. You were taking your meds? No, I need to take my meds. You need to take your meds. What kind of meds do you need to take? Well, how about you to work on getting your ID out for me? Then find me. Huh? Then find me. What? I I can't I understand you. Finding me. Anna repeatedly asks the officer to let him shut her door. Then so let me help you find your ID. Then can you shut my door, please? No, I'm not shutting your Why door. Not? Why do I need to shut your door? So I can find my ID. And when he refuses to do so, she starts getting aggressive. You don't need your door shut to because find your ID. I knew you hey. Okay, look it. He's what? being an no, idiot. No, 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 I no. Oh, hey, 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 We don't disrespect. Don't we don't disrespect him. Please. He's don't being cop. an no. idea. No. Then no, why can't I please him up for my ID? Hey, we don't do that. We don't do that. There's no reason to shut your door, honey. Just get your ID. Why? Can we shut my door, please, then? You're going to get arrested. With time, her condition seems to get worse. Where I'm not shutting your, your door. Yes, I am 100% sure that I want you to shut my door, please. Well, we can't do that. We can, we can, we can give you a ride, or they can give you a ride. Calling them swear words and everything yeah. else isn't going to help, okay? It's too late. It's already no, it's too not late. too late. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank God somebody, somebody saw you. Your purse is in the back seat. Emma! Emma's not here. Emma! Eventually, she starts getting violent with the cops, forcing him to restrain her. Emma! Okay, we don't need to be screaming like that. Okay? I'm trying to help you. You! I don't fucking like you! Okay, that's fine. Can you go find my sister? I don't know where your sister is. Go ask sister for is. my sister! She's here. Yeah, she fing is! Go look for her, you dumb 
Go look for her! She's not here. Go look for her! Alright. Go look for her! Get out of the go car. Go look for her! Anna, get out of the car. No, go look for her. Anna keeps resisting the officers, kicking at the officers despite multiple warnings. My handcuffs keep laying on the ground. Let me go! Let me go! Stop kicking! Let me go! Stop kicking! Let me go! Knock it off! After that, she starts losing her mind when they take her to the car. And she doesn't stop once she's in the car either. Back on the seat. Please let me go. Please let me go. Please let me go. Please let me go. Stop kicking. Once the officers forced her back into the car, Anna started going absolutely insane. Jesus. And it doesn't end there. She's hitting her head again. <laughs> Stop doing that! All right, well... The officers then attempt a breathalyzer test to see just how drunk this poor woman is. Anna, sit up and look at me once. You gotta sit up and look at me. How, how are we supposed to help you then? How are we supposed to help you then? Well, that's not gonna help. But that doesn't work either. Anna, sit up and look at me. Here, we need to get a PBT from you. We gotta see where you're at. We wanna see how high you are. Once the police were able to get the test done, her blood alcohol levels were way over the limit. But Anna continues to resist. Knock it off! Stop doing that! Go. You're gonna make it worse for yourself. Knock it off. <laughs> Getting Anna out of the car after they get to the office is yet another struggle, but the officers finally manage to do it. Let's just Anna was then charged with battery to a police officer and resisting while also being given a citation for underage drinking. You might say that Anna was just a teenager who didn't know any better, but what excuse does this grown woman have trying to flee a crime scene? Get out of the vehicle! But before that, this is an Ohio police officer responding to an emergency call when a drunk driver named Grace Spoonamore allegedly crashed into another vehicle after driving under the influence. Why did you take off like that? I'm sorry. At first, Grace refuses to admit that she's been drinking, but her behavior clearly shows otherwise. Do you have anything in your pockets? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? <laughs> I don't okay. know, you want to take me? <laughs> Search me real quick. It may feel intervised. All right, stop. <laughs> Sitting there. No, you don't want to stop. Are you on something right now? No. I just came for dinner with my trick. How much you have to drink there? Two doubles. Two doubles of what? Patron. Okay. So you are drunk. And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. 
Where's the owner of that vehicle? I don't know. She starts accusing the officer of something that he didn't see coming. If you want to listen to more than what I got. What is You your want a name? drug bust. What's that? You want a drug bust. Don't you choose. Do you have drugs in the car? I don't. Okay. All right. And you want to check it? But that is only the beginning of her weird behavior. What is your name? Stay in the right. car. Stay in the car. Okay, I understand. Get in the car. I, okay. Get your leg in the car. Listen, handsome man. Get your leg in the car. You feel some type of way because my leg ain't in the car? Get your foot in the car. Just stop. What is your name? Grace. When the officer tries to reason with her, Grace starts throwing a tantrum, having no idea of where she is or what's going on. All right. What do you No, what I do you don't want? believe you. What do you want? I don't believe you. For what? I don't believe you at all. For what? Cuz I've been abducted and cut up and left on the streets for these bitches. I don't okay. believe you, because you wasn't there to help me when I was needed. Okay, but I'm telling you. No, I don't care. I don't care. You wasn't needed when I needed you when I was bleeding out. Where was you? Was that in Georgia? No, it was in Cleveland. Well, we're not in Cleveland right now. I don't now. give a fuck. It is in Cleveland. We're in Brunswick. You let me bleed out. You let me live. Live. For some strange reason, she thinks the cops are out to get her. You let me bleed four and a half ounces okay. of blood. Okay. You let me bleed out okay. on the side of the streets. Okay. I don't trust you. You want to send FBI in touch with to deal with me? You can. I don't trust you. You let me bleed. Okay. Eventually, she gets so worked up that the officers have to resort to extreme measures as she tries to escape. Okay. Well, Grace, stay in. Stay no, in. you don't trust me. Stay in the car. Come on. You don't trust me. Stay in the car. You don't trust me. Go ahead, pull it. You don't trust me. You don't trust me. You don't trust me. I don't trust you. You just spit on me. Yeah, I did because you know I'm abducted. <laughs> but that only makes her lash out even more. You didn't jump with me. You said you beat with other women. You didn't jump with other women. That's what I did. They did it right where I was from. Not just that, she also completely ruins the police car by peeing inside in her drunken state. You wouldn't let me go. Right. Um, step out. No, you wouldn't let me go. I couldn't hold it. Okay. And I'm <laughs> okay, I'm coming out. Oh, no, she's no, shoes. Fuck shoes. Because I already peed in the car. As she's taken inside to be arrested, the lady has a sudden urge to take her pants off. Can I take it off? No, leave it on. Oh, yeah. Leave it on. Grace, just stop. That is when her tantrum gets even worse, if you can believe it. No, just stay there. I want to take them off. Okay. I want to be my pants. You want to try me? Stay oh, in the blue box. No, hold on. Stay in the blue box. You. You want to taste me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it kinky. Stay in the blue box, Grace. Don't. Stay in the blue box. Step back. You can touch Step me. Step back. You touch me. Just stay in that blue box. No. Look. Oh, no. Yes. You don't want me here. You don't want me here. Stay in the blue box. No. Get the fuck out of me. Just stay there. Get out and when the chief shows up to see what's going on, she gets completely out of control once again. Stay right here. No! No, you don't want to f me! Yes. Stop! You don't want to f me! Yes. Stop! Stop trying to f me! Get in the don't car. Don't put me in the car. Grace? Don't put me in the car. I was stripped outside the car. I was stripped outside the car. Don't put me in the car. Please don't put me in the car. Right now, no, 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 no,
Even when she's taken to the hospital for a psych eval, Grace's tantrums seem to just continue. Neither of y'all gave No, okay, I understand that. The you don't have to grab me. Just making sure you go. Okay, grab me. I don't care. Lay it on my mother leg. Grace, you don't like, teach me. What would Grace, 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 Grace. No, I can't. I can't. No, I can't. I can't. What's wrong? I'm Andrew. Hey. No, it's not. Take a minute. Indoor voice. I'm right here. What's wrong? No. She was then charged with OVI, speeding, obstruction of official business, and assaulting a police officer. Driving while drunk might still be an excusable offense, but trying to use money to cover up your crimes? Yeah, that's never gonna work out. Meet Stephanie Bloodworth, who was pulled over for speeding whilst driving under the influence. But the arrest was anything but easy. Turn off of the vehicle! Turn it off! Stand in front of my patrol vehicle right now. Right now. Ma'am. Sorry, what are you accusing me of? Ma'am. Yeah. You need to come over here right now. Why? Because I'm telling you to. You're running from me. I did not. I'm right here. Yeah. Now you are. But not only was Stephanie arguing with the cops, she also tried to make a run for it. 511, she's refusing to comply. Get, hey. uh -huh. Get out of the vehicle. You got the up, bro. I own this. Actively resistant. Get out of the Get out of the vehicle. As much as the officer tried to get her out of the car, Stephanie had other ideas. She's taking off. Stephanie's escape led to a wild chase, but thankfully, Stephanie is stopped soon enough. We're stopped again. Turn off the vehicle! At this point, though, she's on the phone with her father. Stop me over. Oh my god, Dad! They're arresting Stop me! Stop Oh, dude! Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why? Why? My dad is in the car. Why are you doing this? Okay, like on no, the phone. No, I'm not. My dad is on the phone. And he's... Hey! Hey! You are not going to kick me. This is not okay. Get your leg over here and turn over. Stephanie keeps resisting the officers, even going so far as to attack them physically. No, this is what happens when you flee and then you kick me. I didn't flee and I didn't kick you. So those lights and sirens mean nothing? We're just out Can here. Can I call my father? No, no. He owns the island. 11, you can okay. really see her. Call my father. I'm not calling your dad. She tries to get the cops to call her influential father, trying to make all kinds of excuses. Yeah, you're right, and you're not gonna take me in either. You could have okay. killed someone. Yes, you could Yeah, have. I could have killed you too, but you're alive, right? Hey, you, you, need to, in? you need to notify him. I don't need to notify anyone, you're an adult. Like, yeah, because who that. are you? Uh, he's the police. I didn't know that. <laughs> when she fails to take any kind of sobriety tests, her father does eventually show up. <laughs> Dad! Dad! Despite his advice, she keeps resisting the cops as they try to arrest her. All right, ma'am. Dad! They didn't read me my rights, so they don't tell me why I'm going in! Ma'am! Man, Dad. you resist, you're going to catch more charges. I'm not resisting. I'm right here. Get in the car then, right now. Dad. Bloodworth is then taken to the Monroe County Detention Facility, but her behavior is still extremely unacceptable. Once you begin, do not stop until the exercise is completed. Stephanie, do you understand these instructions? You need nine steps. Count it. Nine steps, heel a toe, turn around by taking a series of small steps. Do I need to show it to you again? You sure you understand? Stretch, look. You need a stretch? Oh. I just been trying all day.
All right, Stephanie, you have to, we, we got to start doing this, okay? Do you need me to explain the instructions again to you? No. Are you sure that you understand? You need nine steps back. Well, do you need me to go over the instructions again? No. Okay. Can you get into the starting position, please? Do you remember the starting position? Okay, it's gonna be the left foot behind, right foot in front, just like this, Stephanie. I'm like the other okay. way. <laughs> Are you ready to begin to understand these instructions? Yes. Okay, Stephanie, you may begin. Then she starts having a total meltdown. <laughs> what was that? You said you don't deserve this? Oh, I agree. Let this be a learning experience. When she's taken to do a breathalyzer test, she has to keep doing it over and over again. All you can do is take a deep breath. Deep breath. No, but I just told you. Because you think I'm wrong. So I said, I'm requesting you to do a one-foot test your breath with person to determine alcohol content. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes or no? Would you take the test? Yeah. Take a deep breath. And I'll tell you when to stop blowing, okay? And begin. Blow. Hard. No. Nope. Until that machine starts making noise, you need to blow. You're not blowing. I am. Understand one thing if you don't. I am blowing. You're not. Dude, you can feel my hands. Go. Like... The 24 year old was eventually charged with resisting an officer, fleeing, reckless driving, and a DUI. Being drunk is one thing, but being drunk and then pissing the cops off is never a good idea. Would your life be in danger if you were pointed a pistol at? I would say yes. So that's what happened to me. On August 25th, 2022, an off duty sergeant encountered a road rage incident in La Crosse, Wisconsin, when a vehicle crossed him at 50 miles an hour. The agitated driver, later identified as a man named Kevin, then stopped his car at a green light and got out of his car to block the sergeant's way before returning back and calling 911, blaming the officer for pointing his firearm at him. But it doesn't stop there. Kevin continued to follow the sergeant's car, making inappropriate gestures at him once he was ahead. Kevin continued to follow the sergeant to the city hall parking lot. Hey. Okay. Keep your hands where I can see them, okay? He's the one that pointed a gun at me. You're okay. gonna let him get away? Can you get on your knees, please? Keep your hands where I can see them, okay? Yep. Is there anyone else in the car? No! Uh, I told the 911. He's gonna place you in the cuffs, no, handcuffs, you know, okay? He pointed a gun at me when I was coming around the corner. I called 911. Why am I in cuffs? We're just making sure everything's safe. We don't know what's going on. We're trying to figure out what's going on. You want to stand up for me, please? Yeah. Okay. And that is when his tantrum begins. Okay, we're gonna check you, make sure that you don't have anything that's gonna hurt me. Yeah, why would I? You would carry any pocket knives for work or anything? No, okay. I got a gun pointed at me, I'm under arrest. You got a gun pointed at you? Really? really? That's why I called the cops. The officers then uncover drug paraphernalia from his pockets, leading them to believe that he's probably under the influence. Yep. Why, what did I do wrong? What? What did I do wrong by getting a gun for you? But the man tries to turn the situation around, taking his anger out on the cops. Was, would your life be in danger if you were pointed a pistol at? I would say yes. Okay, so that's what happened to me. That's why I called 911. Before we get into this. That's why I called 911, yep. correct? He refuses to sit inside the car and starts crying out of nowhere. Can you please sit in the car for me? That's all I'm asking. Are you sorry? Are you sorry? Are you just going first? I said, you can take a seat like that. Let's take a seat like that. The officers are then heard talking amongst themselves about smelling alcohol on his breath. The man then starts threatening the officers, refusing to cooperate. You know, I'm right, I want a lawyer. All right, I'm done talking. Just, with you, just so you know, I will call. I will subpoena the 911 dispatcher, saying I called in. You guys arrested me for a gun being pointed at me. Okay. Just so you know. Cool. Put your leg back. That's fine. Just so you guys know. The police let him know what they found on him, and safe to say, he's not happy about it. What's up, man? Like, what am I under arrest for? Well, apparently, you admitted to having a, a meth pipe on you. Yeah, that's a misdemeanor. 
So, so Kevin, Kevin, listen. So, like, we're talking to the other party involved right now to figure out where we're going from here. Okay. He pointed a gun at me. I, I'm not saying I don't believe you. We're talking to that party. Okay. I don't have a gun. Do I have a gun? I don't know. Not on you, no, you don't. Okay. I'm trying to explain the situation to you, okay? Claustrophobic. Well, there was a lot of confusion about, there was mention of a gun. As a police officer arriving on scene with dozens of other police officers, none of us knew who involved had a gun. Could have been the other person, could have been you, could have been the off-duty police I officer. The, I don't know. An operator. So it's an off-duty police officer, huh? I don't know. That's what the... Promise. We don't know. We don't know who else had it. You just gun. told me what it was. No, I'm just giving you possibilities on what. No, happened. no, you didn't give me a possibility. You told me what it was. Let's do it. One of the possibilities Let's do it. was Let's that do you it. had. But after conducting a records check, it was discovered that Kevin's driving status was suspended. But the real trouble came when the officers conducted a canine sniff on his car. You know you guys are wasting your time, right? I'll tell you right where the weed is. Officer! Hey, officer! The search revealed more drug paraphernalia and two bags of illegal substances. And of course, Kevin tries everything he can to get out of trouble. I asked my lawyer to be here when it's searched. You guys broke that. We got the twisted tea. Open container. Here's the weed. He was being honest about the weed. Hey, where's my lawyer? Where's Kevin. My lawyer. I don't know. He's supposed to be here present when you search that vehicle. So the reason that they're searching the vehicle because is... Because the dog hit on some bullshit. Bullshit. The man was then transported to the police department for sobriety test, and that's when things started to get really weird. Can we keep going? No, nope. just put your feet together and hands on the other side. We're gonna finish the eye test, okay? Yo, can you see my finger okay? No, I'm drunk. I know. All right, just follow up my finger, okay? So if I say no, I'm drunk, you I still have to follow that mother? Yeah. Can't you do the pen or something? That's more interesting. I don't use pens, I just use my finger, okay? That's what she said. Don't laugh. Okay. Josh will laugh. Ready? Hands on the side. What are you gonna do if I just sit here and stare at you like this? Well, I just want you to cooperate, that's what I want. I'm cooperating, but I'm telling you I'm drunk. Kevin is then put in the vehicle again to be transported to jail for driving under the influence. And that is when he starts absolutely losing his mind. Can you hear me okay? What? Inform the accused form. I want under my lawyer. Wisconsin I want my lawyer here before you read that to me. Alcohol while under the influence of alcohol or drugs or both. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Or Somebody pointed a gun at me. Shut the f up! Or you are suspected of driving or being on. I can't wait till I see you on the I'm gonna beat the f out of you. Oh, this phone. Yep. Just tell your wife to get her shit my f house and leave Law me alone. Enforced. Kevin was then charged with battery, threat to an officer, possession of THC, drug paraphernalia, disorderly conduct, and an OWI. If you still can't believe how much people can lose their mind when they're drunk, check out this drunk man who gave an officer a run for his money. Literally. Take it easy. On July 25th, 2022, a Monroe County Sheriff's deputy conducted a traffic stop after observing a disabled vehicle in Sparta, Wisconsin, identifying the driver as 25-year-old Andrew Olson. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Deputy with the Sheriff's Office, what's going on tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, we're having some issues with the vehicle. You're having some issues with the vehicle? Yeah, we'll start up. Andrew claimed that there was something wrong with the vehicle, and the officers attempted to help him out, which is when he notices something. Are you talking to these people, or the, do you know these people, or no? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. I gotcha. How much have you had a drink tonight? I had one or two drinks. Okay. Can I tell you're slurring your speech, you're stumbling a little bit. Yep. You think you're safe to drive tonight? I do. Okay. I just don't know what the f is going on with the vehicle. Hey, would, like, you mind if I try starting it up? Yeah, no, for sure. When the officer starts helping Andrew push his car, he comes across more proof. Break, break. How much marijuana is in the car? I smell... No, I don't think any weeds in the car. Shouldn't be any like, weed in there? I've smoked before, but there shouldn't be any weed in the car. Okay. No, there shouldn't be. Just to be sure, though, the officer lets Andrew know that he'll be performing some field sobriety tests on him. What I want you to do is I want you to put your feet together, put your hands down by your sides. Perfect. Don't grab on your pant legs, just leave your hands nice and relaxed. And can you see the tip of my finger? Yes. This one right here? Yes. All right, can you reach out with your right index finger and touch the tip of my finger? Yes. What I want you to do is I just want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and only your eyes and not your head. Do you understand? Yes. But Andrew tries to put them off. No, but I'm very nervous. Okay. Like, I know that I can do this. I know that this performs my sobriety. But this is a very nervous task. Like, knowing that I, if I fail this, it may mean that I am too intoxicated to jump. This is a very nerve-wracking test. I can appreciate that. Yes. Okay. As he performs the test, the officer can notice that the man is definitely not okay to drive. Yep. And count out loud. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two,
one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and you can stop. Last thing I need you to do is give me a sample of your breath to determine if you're impaired by drugs or alcohol. Are you able to do that for me tonight? Andrew then agrees to a PBT. To no one's surprise, he's well over the legal limit. You know what the legal limit to operate in Wisconsin is? Point zero eight. Yep, you're at a point one five two. So if you want to place your hands behind your back, you're under arrest for operating while impaired. Hey, easy there. Easy there. What are you doing? Don't tense up on me, buddy. When the deputy reaches back to grab his handcuffs in order to arrest Andrew, he had no idea what was coming next. Take it easy. The deputy managed to track Andrew down multiple times, but the man simply refused to stop. Get out here right now. Hey, man. Come on here, I'm gonna OC you. Come here. Come here, right now. I'm gonna OC you. Get on the ground. The officer ultimately had to get in his car to try to catch up to Andrew, who's still running for his life at this point. 15 minutes after the chase, the officer finds Andrew in the woods in a compromised position. I got cuffs. Back right now. Put your hands behind your back. Do it now. I got taser. Put your hands behind your back. Do it now or you're gonna get tased. Lay on your stomach. Put your hands behind your back. Not only did he actively resist the arrest, this is when Andrew took things a little too far. Stop coming to me like that! Why do I touch you? Touch me twice. Don't touch me like that! He's grabbing a gold in my gun. No, you beat a punch! I was doing you. Stop. I'm gonna sue your ass. You. Let go of me now! Get the stop! Put your hands behind your back. How the f are you gonna do that? Oh, he's pointing me! Get off of me! Get off! Stop f***ing After a long showdown, the officers finally manage to restrict the drunk man, but that doesn't mean he starts behaving. We really have the pee, so come on. What's your first name? Shut the f okay. All right. Listen up. Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Okay, right now you're under arrest. Yeah, for what? For what? Yeah, for what? Come There's on, come on. Come on, come on. That's what I thought. You're just being f No, you're just being f Well, I Talk to me like a man. Just talk to me like a man. Resisting. You're the f being yeah, Stop resisting yelling like at me, man. I will. For what? I was a f of everything. You're just being f because you're put is. Okay. Just talk to me like a f man. Andrew was ultimately arrested and charged with felony counts of battery, threats to an officer, resisting, causing injury, attempting to resist an officer, and of course, an OWI.